I can see you testifying of his faithfulness. I see result pursuing overtaking you. I see weeping come to an end. I see joy take over. I see every shame removed. I see someone coming out of his shell.
is moving forward. This head, I promote you, I, I, by the power vested upon me. From Isaiah chapter 45, from verse 1 to 4, I command you now, be lifted. Be lifted, you shall no longer be cast down. Shame will no longer be your portion. I promote you now, I move you to your next level. Double promotion, triple promotion, no argument promotion. I break every loss and I move you now in the name of Yeah. 
opened in 2014. You will walk straight like a victim. You will return always with testimonies. You will not die in 2014. From now onwards, they will begin to call you the fruitful woman. of results. They said this man is full of positions. This year, you will sit down and begin to write names of people who just be disputing. God will empower you. Things will begin to go from you, through you, by you, on you. In Jesus' name I pray. So I don't see one person who chose to fail. 
So everybody chose to succeed, but planned nothing and therefore did nothing. Now some chose to succeed, planned to succeed, but did not have the stamina to execute their plan. So they, were, they didn't have divine leadership. They planned to succeed, they chose to succeed, they actually planned to succeed, but they failed at the execution of the plan. There are so many things that can make you fail. And some of them you have already seen. Some is your inertia. Somehow your momentum is not enough to carry. Sometimes it could be a strong man that is on the way that is accusing you of something. And everything you try to do, it will not work. The Bible says you shall be in a readiness to avenge every disobedience when your obedience is complete. So sometimes a strong man takes advantage of this. Otherwise, you clear him from the way. But your way will be made smooth this year. Are you hearing me? So we also said that success is the attainment of the goals you set for your server. So if you set a goal, then you have to have a plan to achieve that goal. The goal is not your plan. The goal is your dream, it's your vision, what you plan. The plan is, is the step-by-step -step arrangement of, of procedures that you want to take. Where will you start? How will you go? Supposing there is this problem, what will I do? Will I go back? That is what you call your plan. And then, that is what Cyrus did. He even read from prophecy that there was a prophet that he knew. So when he came, he executed his plan. He trained soldiers. And they went in. And when they got there, they knew and told you the quality of the, of the pillars. 25, 25, 100 pillars, heavy pillars, and then the gates. So it's not what you want, it's not hitting. You are deceiving yourself. They had to create a strategy, to create a noise. And they came to trouble, set some good fire what is happening, and they entered at that point. God will give you wisdom to plan. Yeah. And your plan will succeed. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And what's, what is the acronym? For successful goal planning, smart. smart. S for what? M for what? A for what? R for what? And T for what? Everything you do has to be time bound. If you achieve one month's program in five years, you fail. Even though you saw results in five years. Success is your ability to get that, following this design, to get it within that time limit. Provided you did not deceive yourself, you are, you are very, very realistic. So you become excited when you think that it is done. That's why uh, Grace was jumping in. She's like, I've never seen her progress. She just does that she doesn't know how to talk. And look at her, she's excited because she had something. She gave to God and she walked towards them. She said she didn't just carry ten at a time. She just chose three. And she walked on those three and trusted God. And she success. You know why she's successful? There is momentum for joy because what she planned works out. And she knew what she planned. Now, the reason why you can never stand here at the end of the year is because you don't even have anything you want to achieve. Hey. Oh, <laughs> you know so even if you achieve ten, it doesn't excite you. I do not program for anything. So even when God has blessed you, you will be crying and be condemning you because you have not number. That's why the songwriter says, Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. That you have taken before you and they have now in rejoicing you gain momentum to transcend into the next. You yes. are saying that. Yes. There is nobody who has everything he's looking for. <laughs> that is the reason why if you create a goal, make it realistic. So accomplishing the little, even the Bible understands the concept of little. 
A little, you remember that? Yes. From no, no, from nothing. To what? A little. A little. Then from a little to what? A great. The other one, remember that message? Yes. Elemental prayers. God understands the principle of plan. He said, Who amongst you wants to build a house and just jump out of that You don't want. You plan and see what you have to do. Let's see that. And you finish. And you feel God is there. You feel defeated. You don't understand it. When you believe you can do something, you have planned to do it, and you, you, you just feel you have all the resources. And you try and try and pray and pray. And look at yourself. Time has gone, it did nothing. Momentum goes. The people see it's not the same person that's seen it. When they say pray, they say brass, 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 brass. That was the person that was like, after doing those things, there is no result. When you now tell you to pray, say, Brahms, 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 Brahms. <laughs> doesn't make sense anymore. Because there's no result. But when you get a little result, a little result, you move to the low, and you have a momentum for the little you achieve. But when you carry too much at a time, you achieve nothing, and you lose momentum. I don't know if somebody's in charge. Connecting with you at a high frequency. Every great tree is planted with a seed. Yes. And your seed increase as you increase in life. <laughs> Somebody who, did, who cannot pay tithe of 1,000, find it got to pay 10,000. <laughs> Somebody who paid 1,000 is supposed to pay 10,000. If you want your million coins, pay 100. If 10 million comes, you drop one. <laughs> you, you, anything you want to achieve, you start it by a step by step. Process. Somebody, some people call it the process of gradualism. Now the next step will be easy because the first step was probably accomplished. That's why we, we, we are discussing those and I said, people, bring your plan. We know everybody, there are people who are hundreds of thousands and millions who are here. But there are those who are only 10,000. Let's carry this plan. Let's make a plan based on that. It's not because we are teaching you to live a life. No, it's to let you know that success can come through a plan you have laid out for yourself. Otherwise, I mean, if I want to come, there's, there's budget for every level. There's budget. I have, I have friends, you know. If you are eating food, it's one and one, one Every meal has to have a three cost level. You understand? If you actually have money, if you have money, you want to spend it. Because and you see it, when you want to eat ever, just eat ever, drink, drink water. No, you must have it. There's no money else. When you have money, there should be three cost level. Okay? Appetizer, you know, you are there. You know? It's not the one you carry, you give them plenty of water to feed their stomach. For what? For what? What punishment is that? You give just, just to, to make them hungry. Give them things that don't take it standing. Think we will eat up, create some more moods. So that when the name comes, they eat very well. And then, height of ice cream. And then, and then in, in, in your house, in your house, in your house, there should be a gate man, you suit uniform for him. You know, that one is just for the gate. Then, then there should be cars. Your, your, my friend, his, his wife has his own car, her own car. He has his own car with a driver. Your family, there's mama's driver and then his own driver. You understand that? There is a beauty man who are there because one does another plan, another person will go. There is male houseboy and female houseboy to attend to different categories of people. You know? And the house is roomy enough in the air and on the ground. If you have money, there is there is something. Tell somebody there is something. If you have money and you want to make body, you don't shall grow. You, 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 <laughs> you don't grow. This is an idea. The idea, you understand? Okay? I mean, Ken was here, the company is providing all those. You see how one Calabar boy is there, his own is to do, then another one is there. Then, all those people are there, every month they are getting their phone. That one too is a level. A level. It's not because you don't know it's there. But we don't, we, we, you start from where you are. I begin to trust God. Eh? Get, get man first. You understand? Get one first. That is, if you have the money for it. <laughs> so if you, if you think you have money, that's a plan for you. That's a plan. Say somebody, that's a plan. Ask Pastor, do you like that one? Do you, you don't like it. You, 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 who do you want? Who likes suffering? But when we grow up, we'll have all those things. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh my God, how are those things? But there is no need deceiving yourself. Doing things because people are doing it. The resources will come, but it has not come. Why do you want to spend your future now? And when you get into your future, it becomes a disgrace. You be hiding from people because you've eaten your future since yesterday. When you get to your tomorrow, you carry long face and depression comes. That's how I need your smiles. Hello? Stand with yourself, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I don't want to waste your time with those things. So you will give you what you need. There are other environments you go to tell them. But there are people who will just don't fly plane. Don't fly. They don't fly. If the plane doesn't have first class, they won't travel. If it doesn't have executive class, they won't travel. You know it. There are planes. Prisoners travel with planes too. Yes. There are some of these that are wearing from when I'm traveling. I don't want to be with them in the same plane because it can be horrible. All these people are wearing from to go somewhere. Ah, oh, they fight. Oh, you know, it's just good to give them a capital plane. So all of these things are different, different. We are talking about 10,000 levels, starting with 20, 50, 100, 200. There's, there's program for every level. And the reason why people fail is to join the level where they are or refuse to acknowledge where God has put them. So follow the smart formula and God will take you to where you are. So we started last week on Train Your Mind. It is the incubator for abundant provision. Train what? Your mind is a train. The mind is the unlimited storage facility for your life. The past, the present, and even the future. It's so powerful that it constantly keeps converting thoughts into experience. That is why you can sit down there and think that everybody has forsaken you and think that you just had an accident and you can just think that you're the one that carrying the stretches into the hospital and everybody's bringing and tears is not going to come Right there, where you You can create that speech of mind. And tear is not going to can be converted to experience. So many people are depressed, but nothing has happened. They forget that nobody is going to do that. They travel in the realms of thoughts and started to punish themselves. And before you know the thoughts have been translated to an experience. And with time, the thing will happen. I told you that's why the Bible said, the, what the wicked fears comes upon you. Because what he fears, as that man is robbing, he's afraid they will be caught. Eventually he will be caught. Eventually he will be caught. And you say somebody deceived him. You say it was this one. You say it was because he didn't have work. It's because they didn't have school. It's because that's what everybody says. Everything you do, you choose to do it. Praise the Lord! He said that thoughts are powerful. The difference between the rich and the poor is what? In the way they think. How they think. And they gave us so many stories to buttress those points. And God has told us that you will go before us. One of the very important scriptures is Mark 11 to 3 says, For truly I say to you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be you removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he say. And again, the Bible says that he is God who does exceedingly above all we are able to ask plus think. And many people are starting to say that the things they thought about is beginning to happen. So, so your asking in prayer is as important as your thinking in prayer. And I said many times our prayers are not answered because our lips are open to him but our hearts are far from him. But you understand the things of gathering your thoughts into your speaking and the two are said like a smoke to God. The answer will be quicker. Let your thoughts, the meditation, not, don't you understand why the psalmist said the meditations of my heart be acceptable? What has God got to do with the meditations of your heart? Yes, he checks on you. And his hands are moved by your meditation. It's about thoughts. Thoughts are powerful. Until your mind goes to Iron Bull, and I say Iron Bull is actually when you are dead, it's not. Then your inner man, your spirit 
man lifts your bottle. When somebody is in coma, it means that he cannot have any physical experience or interaction. But that person in coma will just be standing there and looking at you. Or he can't say it. If you slap him, he will be straight there. He's not there. He can tell you, you know, some of the things that happen, but he can't respond to them. They move. They move. So what components of them cannot move? The top component, the physical body. So when you are able to put all of this together, you move the hand that moves things. So as we go, God helps us to get to a point where you know that God will not tell you, guard your heart with all that you do. Why? Because out of it is a wonderful provision. That's what we call the issues of life, good or bad. If fear grips you and you constantly live in fear, you are in trouble. What you should fight is not anybody, it's the thought that is bringing the fear to your heart. The thoughts, the thoughts, the thoughts. If you think bad enough, fear will grip you. And when once that fear grips you, that's what the enemy wants. Brings you back down, then he will not slaughter you. But you will not be slaughtered in Jesus' name. Amen. And I got to a point where I said, thoughts and things, and powerful things for that matter, when you mix it with definiteness of purpose and faith, thoughts. That's why that was what I was thinking. From thinking, actually, sometimes you dream. Because dreaming about this is not out of the multitude of business. And where you do that business, out of the multitude of what you're thinking about, you dream eventually. Because you keep on building something. So you dream. So, thoughts are powerful. And we say, thoughts are things, and powerful things for that matter, when you mix it with definiteness of purpose and faith. In the story, I told you a story, I want to start, let me tell you the story now, and we'll take the lessons from it and move on. A story of a band. Those of you who may have read about him is a great man today. I mean, they're all gone now. So he talks, the man who uses his thoughts, he talks his way into partnership, what we call synergy, with a great man, Thomas Edison, an inventor. Some of you who really also know Thomas Edison, inventor of the Thousands of things invented. That's the reason just what we know so much about. What I'll tell you about is that ground. He said, all the schooling years of his life put together, secondary everything, the schooling within his life was not more than six months. <laughs> then this inventor is not more than six months. So people are deceiving you, they are busy. There are certain things are important. I'm not going to school, I'm not trying to school, this is not important. But when you are talking about abundant provision, it goes beyond that. Because we that. You see, all the school things that put together, and in most cases they were not formal, it's training to other people who know. They sit down, relax, and interact with the rest So one day, Barnes thought in his heart that he was going to partnership with him. And Barnes and Thomas Edison is like any one of us here at Dante. Somebody sitting down here just suddenly feels. He wants to be into business partnership with that hotel. The man whose budget, the only budget, are in trillions. And the whole budget, maybe is 10 million. Just let's, let's even make it 10 million. 10 million. You want to do business with somebody whose budget is in trillions. Trillions. How will you, how will you see him to start with? But he kept thinking in his heart that that is possible. With what he had. The problem, so, so he wanted to walk, he said, he wanted to walk with him and not for him. His thought was definite. He wasn't looking for a job. He wanted to walk, he, he doesn't want to work for him so that he would be based on that. He wants to walk with him and make his contribution to what he's doing and end by negotiation. <sighs> Serious. Before you get to anywhere you are going to, if your thought has not gotten there, your body will not get there. Is that somebody judge? Sometimes your thought has traveled 10 years ahead of you. 10 years. And your body goes to meet your thought 10 years after. And that's what happened there. He says, sometime in the future, I just don't want to offer. My goal is to partner with you, to synergize. That is a big one. Let's 
person have the goals? So he had challenges. How to be fast? One of his many challenges, he had four challenges. One, he had not met Thomas Edison before all his life. Probably read about. He read about. There wasn't much television there, so it's not like he saw. He knows what he is. He just believes he's going to meet him, and he will partner with him. Number two, he was not in any position at all to act on it. As you say, no, no resources, no good background. There is, it's not that like he has one company that is producing something that that will take another kind of thing. That Edison is. He just talks about it. Number three, he doesn't even have transport fare to go to Orange, New Jersey, where Thomas Edison lived at that time. And it's, it's, it's many hours, the, you know, time difference. It's like going from Camp Ahab to Lagos. You know, it's not what you just. He didn't have a number of transport yet. He has to meet him first before he can partner with him. He has to, to partner with him means they will talk face to face. When will it happen? But his thoughts were strong. Number four, he had no one who could believe in him enough to introduce him to the man Thomas Edison. There are some guys who want to achieve something. You don't even have any go between. He doesn't know, you don't know who knows who knows who knows who. As long as you believe the guy went until you see somebody who knows who knows who and knows who. He doesn't have any of those things. So he was like any one of us sitting down here. So he had to start swimming. A step. If you're going to a jump of a thousand miles, how many steps do you need to start with? One step. One step. Get it right. One step. A little bit, the Bible says, and a little bit. Small by small. And gradually gets to the position you are expecting through the process. So the first challenge was transport. He didn't have enough. Nobody to help him. Eventually, he thought out that if you follow a cargo uh, carrier, you know, people who carry car vehicle, uh, trains, cargo train. Cargo train is like these trainers that carry cement or carry mountains from the south to the north. You know, they look it to it. So he, he joined that train. With that train, there's no charge for, for human beings, you can just give them some money. Because it's not very human beings, right? it's not worth any money for them, it's not some commercial things or That's what he used, you can imagine the situation, to travel to Orange, New Jersey. And when he got there, it was said that as soon as he, uh, he arrived there, he announced his mission immediately. He said what he came for, that I'm here to do business with Thomas Edison. It was funny, he became a laughing stock of people. When they looked at his appearance, you don't need to imagine how he dressed. You know how he really dressed. You don't need to imagine what his shoes looked like. You know, whether he remembered to keep his hair or he can imagine what it was like. But there was something in his heart that he knew who he was and what he was thinking about and believing that it's going to happen. When he got there, ah, when they looked at him, Edison looked at him and he said he appeared like a trump. <laughs> you know, but a picture of someone who was determined to use everything at his disposal to achieve his goal. So he saw someone in him who had made up his mind not to quit until he gets his dream achieved. So he said his thoughts, not his appearance, created his chance. And Edison gave him a chance. Not yet partner. You know, you know what it means to partner? Partner with someone. Nobody needs success with just them. I meet mean, a success person, I say, hey, this man, uh, somebody told me, told somebody, let me give this man 300,000, let me give say, I'll give 300,000. It's not looking for your 300,000. To do what? To invest, give me everything, they won't give you everything. It takes something more than that. There are businesses they do, I've told us, you know, I mean, investments they make, they will tell you. If you are not in the US, there are investors that, you know, there are people they call, uh, they call them, uh, 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 a kind of certified investors, I don't know why the name left me. You must make at least, as a family, three hundred thousand dollars if you are working. And um, at least, at least you must make the last one of two hundred thousand dollars at one sixty. You can convert one hundred thousand as well. That's about forty-eight million. If you are earning salary, you should earn at least forty-eight million. That's how much in a month. Forty-eight million. But it's how much in a month? Four times twelve. Four times. That's four million salary. If you have any salary, say so the minimum salary that they can take in that investment 
she had for me. And she's so evident, she has that I've earned for these three years. That should be a statement that shows how the new day for three years before you are qualified. Otherwise, even if you have them with you, they will not collect it from you. They won't. You know? So, you know, they just check for the cloud. And here is somebody who is going to say, you want to partner with Edison. And he has a new style. So, Edison gave me a chance because people who are going somewhere are careful about everybody they meet on the way. You don't know who is. There are some people that when they have a list of opportunities, they look down on them. You know? But it doesn't mean they will just grant you your but they will give you a chance. Maybe, if you are not, after many days, you will continue to roam about. But if you are, you will prove yourself out there after some time. He gave him a chance. So he was given a job, and they said he was paid a mega stipend. But they can only pay him money, so five minutes of what he's doing. He said the work they gave him was a work that Every single was not even invested in us. He just like, okay, hey, looking for work, find out something, clean out something. But it was a mega pain. Mega. I don't say mega, it was mega. Because who are you? What's your qualification? I and mean, even if you have qualification, what can you do? What problem can you solve? Can the problem you solve really matter? So they just gave him the work they can give to any other person. But well, the man accepted the job and he was happy. Remember, he didn't come to just take the job. And he was very happy because he thought that finally he has a chance to do something so that Thomas Edison can notice him. And he was very, very happy for that chance to do, to walk where he is so that he can see him, prove who he is. And he was thinking that. And he thought that within a short time, the difference would come. He was there for many years, and something bigger. And the man Thomas Edison is not even remember that anybody like him ever walked in there because there is nothing he was doing that somebody else could not do. So, what makes you important? If they stop doing what you're doing, there's only 10 people who are ready to do it, and there's nothing special about what you're doing. They learn it in three hours, and they will know everything you do for 20 minutes. In three hours, they will know it. There's nothing fantastic about it. So, he couldn't draw the attention of Edison. So, he kept it. So, he reached a point when nothing happened. He does consider just taking a salesman job somewhere. But, like everybody would think, you just want to walk in there and look for where someone is ready, where they have done the work, and at the end of the month, they are always going to come out for you, whether you work or you work. He was tempted to, but he said, No, I didn't come here to do a salesman job. I came here to be in, in business partnership with Thomas. And if it will cost me the rest of my life, I will do it. He talks more, saw himself more, partnering with him. Finally, making the story short, uh, in his fortune setting, like Mike was trying to say this morning, you know, God will create abundant provision through so many ways you will never think about that. If anybody told me, maybe Mike is busy expecting where he's working, they will just uh, triple salary and God will say, no, it's when there is no creative, if you think that way. If you think that way, you'll be part. You know what I'm saying? You'll be part. Your car will just part. What you just say, think heaven word, Vatican, that heavens is your provision. My God, who will you supply all my needs according to his riches in glory to Christ? Don't even think if you're a business that you just buy your business. What can you say? What? Think of whatever you're doing is aim at it. I mean, money came into his hand, I did expect somebody inconvenienced him, broke his car. He said, he didn't have time to say, he said, some people we are begging, this is what they have been looking up to. So, some, when some beggars are coming, they will block the beggar. They are looking for people who have money to break their car. In the US, they do, they'll give you a car. I know one person said, go crash it. Because he wants the insurance company to replace his car. So there are people looking for that accident in her, provided they don't die. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you survive it. You see, if, if, if you actually ask that, what's that one, think of you, for a new car, they will tell you to get it. So what you got was, it was actually where your feet placed. You understand? Am I correct? The amount of money you know, that's not what they give you. You then come and check whether it is. So that was where your feet placed you there. Are you corrected? <laughs> He blessed enough because he's going to change his car. The bond, uh, 
uh, what do you call it? The bumper, the lights, everything, tires, and everything. And he still has changed. He's not trouble. That's easy, his mind. His father is dead. He's not coming back. Eh? What is when he's buried? It's not enough to hold him for people he's supposed to do. So, but he has got changed also to bury the father. But I'm saying that if he double that thing, the man says he will sign the check for That's why I say, about that provision is your personal responsibility. Very Hello? Hello? This is not 419 yet, because we have more 419 than you. <laughs> you understand? Okay? So never mind. That is not all your chance. There are more chances coming. But did you ever think in any way that such money will come your way? You understand that? That's what we call divine. It does happen. But when you pack yourself in a limited way of thinking, you have depression for time. It's not my question. Do you hear that? So finally, the opportunity is lifting. A temporary misfortune, so to say, temporary setback happened on Edison. Edison invented a machine. You know, a, a, a machine, a detective machine. You know, they call it a before. He took time and after working on it, it was fine. And then he started to say, his job is invention, it's not a sales man, he doesn't know how to market, he's only to invent. And then market has stuff. The marketers have been relying on over the years that are now working for him, like salary earners. They've come to a point where they're just so good. They told him that that machine cannot be so good. It's difficult. You know how to talk sometimes. This thing is difficult. All of them say that they have gone out there rejecting that same the negative thing that people have said. A decent hard a setback. Because he has put his money. You know, when you're doing something, the person working for you has gotten all his money. You that put your money so that you can make profit. You've got nothing. The money you used to get has not come. It's a setback. They want to do another one. They don't want to do because you haven't gotten the money in the other one that you put in. The person who did it is said, tell me, when are you doing another one? Yeah, now he's the last one was you. When are you doing another one? He doesn't ask you. Have you made your own profit yet? Yeah. No, no, this is not good. You must get something. No, they don't do it. They tell you, when are you doing another one? That's what Edison found himself in. And the people officially who are doing it, who are already big men. They say this one, the camera, they gave him business. He has already done it. So this young man called Barnes now appeared. Every disappointment, they say what? Yes. Somebody's appointment is your appointment. What is going to magnify you is your difference with somebody. In other words, for you to become something is out of the problem you solve. The problem you were able to solve that somebody feels is unsolvable, that is what brings you out. If there's anybody sitting down there who knows how light can come in Nigeria consistently for 24 hours, for even one year non stop, your problem with poverty is finished. Because if you can just do it only in this community, eh? the people in other communities will call you. You don't need to write an application anywhere, they'll just hear. How are you people happy in your life? Is uh, this, I mean, it's affordable. You don't need to travel anywhere, they'll come and meet you anywhere and go to your office. Yes. Yeah. It's the difference, the difference you make. They will not ask you, nobody will ever come and say, which school did you school? Can I see your certificate? Nobody will do it. Nobody. Even if your English is not clean, they will not bother themselves. Lights, I've been seeing lights every day. You're the one that please come and fix it for me. What you'll be talking about is how much? How much? That man, Bounce, took those machines. He didn't come and say, I can do it, I can do it back to people, I can do it, I want to study it. He took it and went out. It was good, so moved there everywhere. Came back, sold one piece, collected another one, sold again, collected some cotton, sold again. How do we know he sold? He comes and gives Bounce his money. And then he will give him another one. And he comes again and gives him money. And he goes again, and he comes and gives him money. At that point, Van learned to pronounce his name. Edison. I mean, Edison learned to pronounce his name. It's like there's somebody in this country. There are people, but right now there is somebody, somebody. who is going somewhere. There's somebody going somewhere. He didn't beg Vance to recognize him. He didn't tell that. I come here on Saturday when nobody come to do what? I'm doing more than everything. Nobody cares about that. People want to see results. Results. If he's busy collecting and going to keep somewhere and say, I need more, 
bands who say they are the sort they go for one night. I mean, uh, Tom Edison. You know, he will come and carry it and go to, where is the money for the one you carry? No money for one night. For, but he goes and comes back with money for the one he's giving. He goes again, comes back with money for the one he's giving. And that's how it was to be. And if all the people employed have worked for 40 years, or 55 years, but the same, they saw the problem, they see this is solving. And ordinary person is solving it. When he now comes, the man doesn't stop him. Before we are going to free form, now they say they, they, will, they will do like this. They will move straight. And if bad is any, if Thomas is with anybody and they say he comes, he knows he's coming with money for what he sold. Will dismiss you from his office and talk with him. The length of time is already to doctor increasing. Increasing. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Because he's solving his personal problem. It's not stories he wants to hear. And he walks away. Time came when Thomas had to now introduce him to the officers of the company to know him. The captain is imagining. Are you getting what I'm saying? He has, he has thoughts to partner with him. He looks like the thing is going to work out now. And then finally, he appointed him as a national distributor of that machine. And the thing was moving to the point where bands now had to modify the label on it. They are now wrote on it, manufactured and designed by Thomas. Installed by that. That's what they're not talking Because his contribution, if he did not find the market with that product sell, he has solved the very big problem. So he put his name in the label. Designed by Thomas and installed by Bans. That's what they designed and installed. Bans Thomas has partnerships that they get. But it's, it looks simple because I made it short, but that can look simple. Many of us cannot even make anything move at all. And when we do, you get there, somebody annoys you, you stop. You say, can you imagine for these years, this media thing, you can't even pay this. What problems are you solving? Your level in life is the level of problem you are solving. Yes, sir. It's not your level. Level of problem you are solving. That's why you see back to that boom, they do. They chase away the break up. They're picking people who are solving a real problem because now they want to be sincere to make real money. It was fake money they were making before. They're doing woo 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 every way. They were sending results that were not real. So that's how banks succeeded in partnering with Edison. For us, you know, many get the right thoughts, but they corrupt with selfishness. Others with sound dream. They are not willing to persevere to go through it. Others just wish, but they do nothing as an offering for what they are wishing. Four lessons, five, we learn from that. Even the story, you can learn, you can put your own lesson. Just for me, it was this five lessons so that I can tie this all day. Number one, everything in life is possible to him that thinks it's possible. Talking about it. everything in life is possible to him that thinks it's possible. Everything. That's why the Bible says we've got all things are possible. But then he says, to him that believes, nothing shall be impossible. Do you understand that? With God, all things are possible. But then he said, all to him that believes, nothing shall be impossible. That's why in Genesis he said, for these people, they said, don't you let us build bricks. And the God came and said, there is nothing which be in they cannot achieve. Now they are building a power that is almost reaching them. God had to confuse their language. To him that believe it, nothing. Nothing. You just take it. You just take it. And be ready to sweat it out. Because it's not just a thing. You don't stop it. Number two lesson. You will remain who you are until you are ready to confront and solve a significant problem for someone or for people. You will remain who you are and where you are until you are ready. Remember, Cyrus confronted. Until you are ready to confront and solve a significant problem for somebody or for people. 
Cyrus saw the problem for God and for Israel. When captivity, they needed to humble the king of Babylon, and Cyrus was the man that was used. If you can't confront Pharaoh, the children of Israel will remain in Egypt if Moses did not go to the heart. So if you are afraid, they tell you to be, ah, this one, now who can do this? That's why you, you have just announced that I can't, I'm not appointed to go beyond this one. There is somebody who knows what to do. When he does it, the result comes. That's the way life is. Would there be inconvenience to go and ask that what he went through? This sort you have gotten. They will say, is it not this man that used to clean this? And, yeah, he used to clean the bodies. Yeah, we have seen that we are not at the same level at all. The man is not making this thing. How ah, he's selling it, we don't know. Is he using chance? We don't know. How ah, he talks, we, we try to say it, he's not selling it, but he's moving it. And today, number three, money should never be your goal, but the problems you can solve should be the key. Money is in the difference you make from others. Let me say it again. Money should never be your goal. You know you need money. But I always say, show your what? Show your what? Your skill and not your need. It's not that you don't have a need. It's not that you don't need money. But if you have need more money, more money, more money, people will run away from you. So I just talk about the money. Come on. People, they listen to people who can comfort and solve the problem that is worrying you. Somebody, if you want to be more than what can I do? I tell this what my problem is. If anybody can do this, this is it. This is, it. This is how if you do it, you, get, you can negotiate your money. You have it. So, he said, Your difference is in what? Your money is in your difference. You've gone to school, you have to do this and everything, but you can't solve the problem. This man does not have to solve the problem. How much is he paying? You cannot determine how much you can solve what they're paying. They decide how much. What they end is not all that you can end next month. Yeah. No, they just decided. Yeah. The demand decided if you supply 100, say, I'm going to have a man that I'm going to market 200. Who needs more than double? If he says it's going to travel, who needs more than 20? That's the way it is. You don't, you don't say this is what the person ends. No! People are done better. Number four. Be willing to go through the process of waiting for your dream rather than look for quick fix option. Be willing to go through the process of waiting for your dream rather than look for quick fix options. Because quick fixes are always there. And the unfortunate thing is that people who are impatient, they run around and lose so many years. You remember Jacob? 20 years lost. 20 years. Somebody that God has blessed. You remember that God blessed Jacob. This same Jacob now, for who say Cyrus is in power? How many of you remember how many years he lost? Because he was trying to use games instead of following through the process. You lose time. Why don't you as well wait for God? Number five, your difference will announce you and install you in your position, not your mouth. Did you hear that? Your difference will announce you and install you in your position, not facts, not arguments. Not self promotion. You don't have to self promote yourself. Whatever you will be, as you do it, everybody will, will, will be compelled to bow and recognize you. Are you there? These are some of the few lessons that I've learned. Many of you can get to many other lessons from what man is going to But the greatest of them all is what's difference? What's your difference? What's your difference? Who you are is the difference you provide. Are you a tailor? Are you a, a what, what do you call it? Uh, what, what are your profession again? A caterer. Okay, who you are is in your difference. Certificate is good, you know, use it to and that means that's certificate. But the cooking, eh? the cooking, the cooking, the preparation of the things, eh? who you are will come into it. Who you are will come into it. How is stressed? How is it appears? Some of the rules have to be very well. You take one spoon, you think you enter into your tooth. You start praying, it comes, God have mercy. So the next time, you'll be eating it with caution. Use your tongue first to go around it. <laughs> Use your tongue to go around it. Until you get confidence, no, 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 no. It's not possible for this person to eat, and there will be any sound. It is impossible. Your personality, not your certificate, is coming to it. 
who you are comes into what you do. Your package, your presentation, the quality, it comes through who you are. It doesn't come through the certificates. Eh? Okay. So, this is the difference when you want to be captured. You provide. You send other people behind. And your difference. Now, quickly. All demonic attacks focus on the mind. The difference between the rich and poor, I told us, is also in the mind. And I hope by now, I'm sure you understand it, that the rich person is not because he has a car or has a house or is coming some money over now. You know? The rich person is. The mind, mind. You will see that they have the same way of thinking and therefore the same way of doing things. Whether they are having money today or not, they all have the same orientation. You see a small boy who is going to, go to school, he thinks like a rich person. He doesn't look for small, small things he's going to grab for people. He's even all next to having a Christian because he's going somewhere. He's going somewhere. He just feels that it's not all these small, small, small things. That he invests himself into what he's doing. He gets joy by satisfying the person he's doing work for. And he knows that if I can improve, I can get to where so I can others have got and even beyond that person. That's how rich people think. Rich people don't steal. There are people who give job until you pay them completely, the job will not be done. It was not, they've been doing it all for so many people, but they can never because either they fear. Ah, maybe he will not pay me if I do the work. Or he just does and eats. There are people that will finish and they will say, I give you one year warranty. Come and pay me down your fee. There are people there to collect the money. But he will be asking, is it working? Is it doing well? You know that that person is going somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe you will not understand. If your mind is not there, you won't understand what I'm talking about. You understand it. They do it, they trust themselves. How many you bought products, they tell you? In the US, there are many products that, in fact, what they do now as a matter of fact, they will tell you if you don't like it to return it, we'll give you 100% reform. That's what they're doing now. In fact, that's the latest market promotion strategy. You come for a training, they tell you, you pay this, is what you pay for this training. If you finish the training and you feel it's not working, what is? We'll reform you 100%. If you do a job for you and there's a stain on it, you don't like it. We will fund your money, they will sign it from the game. People who are not fair. And they think they do no disappointment. When they finish, you will feel like adding more. Because they deliver as they promised. That's the marketing strategy. But somebody say, ah, you are not doing the job. I need money now. Which money? Which money? You've been working for years. You, know you can't finish a job and deliver and collect your money. On a daily basis, as the money is coming, that's how they're spending it. Mm -hmm. They can't do any job that could. And when you see somebody doing like that, it's dangerous. I disappoint you any time. But people who have gone beyond that level, they deliver. They support. They trust they have given you. You just deliver. Hello. All right. I said all oh, the money can start starts from where? The man. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, the Bible says, The thoughts in your mind bring you peace. Say, Father died on 25th December. Even when I called him, the way he even said, it's like, did he really that? Is he your father? If not, that he has talked about this, his father, he even sent him money. The man is giving him money. You know, some of us are fathers. Uh, they, 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 they've been taking for years. Thank God they died. I'm telling you. Mother said, Thank God, finally. Oh God, oh, you delivered me, Father. Rest in peace. Your father is giving you money. Send money to you. Your father. I called her and said, How many of you have fathers? They are mothers. Some people have been off for a long time. Some have just one mother. Or have mother or father. And some have father and mother. You mean you like this? You have father and mother. And, and this big man, your own father, was giving you money. Am I correct? You're enjoying now. I enjoy. Oh, that's enjoyment. <laughs> that's enjoyment. Your father. Now, that same father dies. And I call him, oh yeah, he's true, he's smiling. I, I just, I was calling, but I could see, you know, I could see how he was doing, like, somebody going somewhere. Because, your father, 
Yes, so far right now. I don't even know where to start from. That's how they talk. <laughs> Who knows where to start from? Oh, Belendo. So if how you get peace is what you allow in your mind. Is it true he's dead? What the Bible says after death, what comes next? Burial. The buried. And when he's buried, you continue with your life. He will keep in not just peace, in perfect peace. So your peace comes from the state of your mind. The power of the mind. So when you are troubled and confused, it's still from your mind. You might be sick in your body, but the state of your mind will decide how you feel. Are you the one they say have a, what disease? Is it? Is it? Uh -huh. And so what? Oh yes. I'm fine. Going on. That was it. As a man thinketh, so is he. So how do you know how you are? How you think? If you sit down and everybody say you are wonderful, you are righteous, you are this, and you know that when you sit down, the things you are thinking about that that's even you know that you are not righteous, they just call you righteous. As a man thinketh, so is he. So your true value is revealed in your thought pattern. Your true value is revealed in your thought pattern. That's why these people say you are a failure you have not agreed that you're a failure, you can't fail. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. What is in your heart is that God has gone before you. How can I fail when God has told me has gone before me? How can me fail? And God is one and for me that has gone before me and then me, I fail. God will fail first before I fail. Mm -hmm. God will have to fail and it's the announced that he failed. Hearing that God failed is the reason why I will fail. If I can't hear, it's not possible. Hearing that you fail. How, how can somebody convince you that because what, what, what happened, whatever, whatever happened with your family, or whatever you do, and because of that you will not make it in this life and you are set. And yet the Bible says, I know my thoughts towards you. They are thoughts of good and not evil. To give you a future and a hope. To give you an expected end. What end are you expecting? Somebody somewhere is telling you that your end will be rubbish. Because I know who you are. I know your mother, I know your father. Like your mother, that's what you already become. She failed, you will fail. And when you sleep, the thing is worrying you. Because she's worrying, when you're walking, your sleep has changed. And because of that, your appetite has been affected. I now see you that you will be like your mother in bed. But he says it to you, and you look at him, and you say, This person is mad. He doesn't know. God is gone ahead of you. And he says that his thought for me is good and not evil. To give me a future and a hope. To give me the end I am expecting. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's what he says. And then somebody is telling me that I'll end like my father and I'll end like my mother. It's not a mad person. I pray for him, God have mercy on him. He knows where I am right now. He will not be talking that rubbish. People will not announce rubbish over your head if you know where you are going to. If you understand what God has said about you. He will give you perfect peace. Create peace in your mind and there will be peace around your environment. It's not a peace, it's not a function of how wonderful your food was. Peace has nothing to do with the house you are living in. Peace, otherwise, you have a story of somebody who built a wonderful house, but he cannot even sleep in the house. They tell him, Sir, you can't sleep in this place. Peace has nothing to do with how much money you have in your pocket, otherwise, people who have won. Play serious money lottery, and since they did money, they have not spent again. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I read this is a fact. You couldn't. Is, is it me? I don't know. Is it me? It's going mad. 
and ended up giving out all the money. See, he says he is troubled. Not that he committed anything. He just was troubled. He, he couldn't sleep. He could not sleep. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you here? If God prepares you for something, He will give you the standard. He said He will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Him. So how do you get peace through the thoughts in your mind? If you feel people hurt you, you will behave like they hate you, and they will hate you. Yes, sir. Yes. Now they don't like me. That's what I like. They don't really like me. So when you are not you will not greet anybody because you already know that they don't like you. If I don't greet, they will not answer me. So you understand? They don't like you, and you are going to be so irritated. They will not like you because you have taught it and probably announced it. There are people who are living in peace with animals. We love it. We say it. <laughs> because they don't see how those things should happen. From their thoughts, they, can't, they, they, they feel if you love them, if you love them, they will love you. And it's working for them. And somebody says, ah, ah. <laughs> and they say, stop pursuing you. What's the snake? Are you? Don't trust yourself. No, I, I don't trust snakes. You don't know what and they will trust me. <laughs> because the Bible says it's a you know, related to the devil, so I can't trust them. But people, <laughs> people trust them and sleep with them. Stay with them. They come and they go out. Lions. So I said your mind never actually got born again the day you got born again. Your mind never actually got born again. That's why I said he does not always follow you to church. He does sometimes stay back in the mind. Some people are here looking at me, but they are counting money in their mind. Sometimes <laughs> 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 Your spirit, and your spirit, you know, has compared your mind 
to see it in scripture and you are now replacing what has always been in your mind to get to this that you're talking to people and you're collecting from them. When we get rich, nobody gets to my knowledge. So the power of the word of God that is not in your mind is not what is not needs to transform you. It starts transforming you little by little, little by little, little by little. Until the state of your mind will be like your spirit, which the Holy Spirit is in your that will now say in Philippians chapter uh, 2, the Bible that says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And how does it make us do us in the whole world? Let this start. May you be done very You know? He didn't put it in just one. Say, so Let this mind. Like before that, no man. I can't know this is a I can't have that as a good man. Talk with great men. Say, no, no, that spirit will come in because you're not born again. And that spirit will come in. So just put it in your mind. This is the mind of Christ. Change your pattern of thought. Change your pattern of thought. You know? That will now say, re- that will be, you know, renewing, having, how to say, be, 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 be not conformed to the world, but be, but be transformed by, by the renewing. Of your mind. So you, your mind is not born again, your mind gets renewed through the spirit that is born again. So, so when you're a Christian, you have a conscience. When you're not a Christian, you have a conscience. Now, that's in a man is what they call your conscience. It's what they call your your, uh, your your conscience. Now a Christian has conscience. Now we have conscience. But when the conscience of an unbeliever talks, somebody says, that, 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 that uh, you will call it intuition, right? Somebody who is not a Christian comes and says, or if he's a Christian, there's something telling me, something, something is telling me. That something is your human spirit suggesting something to your mind. Now, when the Holy Spirit has overshadowed your human spirit, that your mind is the mind of God, the Spirit of God becomes that voice. So he said the Holy Spirit. But also somebody who doesn't have the Holy Spirit can wake up and say something is talking to me. That is his human mind that is talking to me. When you become a Christian, it is now the Spirit of God to the extent you have given yourself to God. Mm. <laughs> it's my Simple as it is. Forget what I'm You are a soul having a spirit, living a body. When you get born again, it is your inner man, your spirit that gets born. Your mind makes the same. So the Christian who does come to church or comes and just looks, he doesn't read the Bible, doesn't read the Bible. After 20 years, his mind is still the same as it was. His music will not change. If you like, talk from now to world, his music will not change because his mind is still at the level it was 20 years ago. Are you getting it now? His music uh, idols are still those ones. Ja, Rastafarians, you know, some of those people. It is not his fault, he's a Christian, all right. His spirit got the yielded, but his mind is still the same. Why have you ever seen him carry the Bible and he's reading? Eh? Me every morning, on that whole circle, now my, I, it has to be read over to me. I have to because I understand that I am trying to recreate my mind, this mind, this mind, before it gets filled.